Miss Mar Marissa Filbert. An outstanding, I knew her well before, but she's an outstanding, hard-working representative of other people. She loves her people, she works hard for her people, and she always cares about her people. Marissa Dalrymple, Mama D, Member of Parliament for South Philadelphia. So, my friend, we have a good one. It's a something about that one time. Well, I all Mama do remind us of one day. Buy yourself a good woman. Find a virtuous woman because her price of a woman grew beyond jewelry. That's Marissa, that is not Marissa Philbert, Mama D. A virtuous woman. What the same about her? All kind of things. But you know that when she comes, she comes to work. She doesn't want nothing from nobody. To put something in there, to put our own resources in there, to work hard for people, to put our time and energy, to get our own family come to the constituency, to work for the people of South Sudan. That is Mama D. She worked for the Leo Party. I know her before, but she came to this party. She put everything into her campaign. Where she can't put on some house or anyone first would work hard like that. Today in Chilani, you have her working in the south. But this is not my election. But then the next time, you need to send the signal. Just like the call on us. Just the call on the leader party. The call on your prime minister and party leader. I was the one coming here, you know that. And I send the, the send the message. You want Mama D no. no. Not tomorrow. No. no. You want her back in that place. You want her back in, in the seat running the content. You want to send the same message to all Jamaica. As South Chilani and North Chilani and Chilani of Paris stand with Andrew Michael Holis, Prime Minister and Leader of the Jamaica Labour Party. So we're going to come and work with you down here. But we're going to work despite all this little man. What do you call him? Mousy Mousy? Or Mice? Which one? Say the most of one thing. Alright, alright. I think you know what I'm talking. I know the same thing. I hear the name, I put both right. They said, Mousy Mousy is something nice. I'm going to do it. Say the most of one thing. But, I'm sick of the on the ballot to try and say what to put go out to the side, Mama D. Well, you know, so that's a fool, sis. But you want to send him a message. And that here we're dealing with, on the same Jamaica message, that the people of South Sudan is satisfied with the work of Marissa Philbert and Kelsey Serda people. On the same that message, that you are satisfied, Marissa, you are satisfied Mama D and you are satisfied mm. the work of Andrew Michael Holmes as Prime Minister to make up. And it is sending a message that the real, the take her back home and you're going to wait until when Bell Ring School call and the ones will get him third term and so Chilani and North Chilani in the same camp. All one team. The South Sudan is a young country, not to have him, but now we are going forward, you have two mighty women in parliament. You have the parish of mighty women. I will not tell you what they call go on. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you have two powerful women to run Sudan the way should be run. And why is not the same as being loyal liberals? You have no other government that's come and done the work of Andrew Holmes in the time you have been here. And we take it in tough times. And we take it when them side of the storm the work done. They have a little program called Jeep to fix road. 10 million a year. 10 million is too possible. But people buy into it. My prime minister come down and pass me and say what? The road bad below. But we're going to fix the roads. We're going to give you good highways. And it's 40 billion dollars for the commuter roads and the building highways. We started one in Montego Bay, 
the start the foiling, to reach the the border, we have the money, we're going to go straight through from Montego Bay, right through to Slaughter to Oakhurst, that the people can have good areas to travel on. But, You can't stop that driving now. We understand that road not only bring good road to drive on and safe for the driver, but when you have a good road, commercial activity increase. Jobs are created for people. Opportunities are created for small people that have business. And you get not only jobs in big hotels and outsourcing facilities and other kind of big business, but the little one too. And more people working, people at home, the hairdresser, the barber, the shopkeepers. The supermarket donors, everybody get more activity, the economy is vital and everybody have a chance to make some money for themselves. This is what Andrew is about, but the other part is about. We give people opportunity to improve their lives, live a better quality of life, and that's what we mean by moving from poverty to prosperity. Okay. <laughs> when you don't have no money, things tight. My part is the one that the first year that the port is going to say, when they say what? The case cash to kill. When Friday evening come, and you can't find a grocery money, it's tough. When Monday morning come, and you have to sting and scratch your head to find the bus fare for the child to go to school, or to pay the morning fee, it's tough. We understand. That's why we say we create more jobs. And we said, the salary tight, we increase taxes to 1.5 to 1.7. So they start to pay out too much to government. And with some of you, we start this year we give you back some of the money and we're looking at ways and means increase that you can earn some more to ensure you look after your family and take care of your family and take care of them well. That is what Labour Party means. We know that sometimes, you know, we move to double the minimum wage, it's still small. But we understand we're trying to move in the right direction. And that's what they have to give and the whole is not to do because he cares, he loves the people of Jamaica, he's serving them, gonna work with them and continue to move the country away that everybody can have a better quality of life. That is the object. But that is the business on the old cash program. I just saw a parish phone to a colleague of money for the nothing. I want to work, like the good book said, by the sweat of their blood, you shall be great. But we have to create the work for the sweat. And that's what their party is doing. We're going to work with you and we need the members of parliament who will work like that, who will work honestly, that when the money comes for you, you will get it. And we know in Mama Day we have that kind of member of parliament. I will talk to you all night. I'm going to be here with you again. I've been with her for the last three months. It was a real privilege to work with her, to work in this constituency and ensure the people of South Sulawesi got what they should get from government. Not all that, nothing dishonest. She insisted her big Cry while she was in this little position that was kind of out of the seat, so to speak, but still half the concern here. She called the Prime Minister and said, Prime Minister, my people must get what their share of the constituency deserve. She insisted, and I had to take on the responsibility. She called me and said, Minister Chan, she called the Irish for a long time. She called me in time and said, Look, this is what the people of South must get. She so sent me the names, I have to stamp them, sign them, and I could do so as she did it with integrity and with honesty that it is for the people of South Lawn. Whether it is agricultural fer products, fertilizer, or some relief for some poor individuals, student grants, road work, whatever it was, Mama D was ensuring that the people of South Lawn would get their fair share of government. See, they have sometimes called it as a political word. See that you must understand it is called conditional cash transfer globally, which means we create some funds that the MP can use to benefit the constituency. And the people like Mamadi use it well and so to only benefit from government. To get the work, whether it is sickness, difficulty to go to school, whatever it is, Mamadi is there for people. And we come in there to support her. And tonight I'm here to contribute that support and to work with you over the next few days. Till the 22nd, find the voters, 
show your confidence in Mama D with the exercise of the bell on election day. Keep the work going because you're not far away go for the next one. I will can talk to you all night about the work of this wonderful lady. I have known her a long time. And you're before she in politics and you're since she come in politics. I work close with her. I have campaigned with her. We have had our differences, but she's a sincere, honest person for whom you can always work. Somebody we can work with at all times. I feel very pleased that you can work with her during the difficult time. And we bring her back. It's a celebration. And I talked about how much you must do. I know you know how to work, how to do it right, get it well done, and demonstrate your loyalty and commitment. We have been on the road a long day. Enjoy it. Well, like, you know, so, but I see the few people and then they take the thing. No big thing. It was very in fact when I go to the crowd, plenty of people were greeting me. Well, one or two even open the fist and do the V. Say no, that does not spot them do not think I'm bring them there for whatever reason I don't know. <laughs> so we don't have to answer with that. South Lawn is ours. Texting all the way to the north. South Lawn is Mama D. Mama D is labor right and this is a labor party country today. Green. I, I, I go and do a little thing tonight. I, I know somebody who knows her longer than that. I know her better than me. I know some a, a young man who knows her more than all of us. Because she was part of her at one stage. I would like to say something especially about her to you tonight. I'm going to bring to ask you to introduce to you as for the third time, but in a special way. A young man the name as Giovanni Pilbert, Mrs. Dalrymple's son, to tell you what a wonderful mother she has. Please share her with you. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Son, and your son is willing to share this wonderful mother, wonderful woman, wonderful professional to share her with you for some time. I think it's his privilege to allow him to introduce and tell a bit more about this fantastic member of parliament, Mama Jean. Thank you, dear man. First of all, 